Hey everyone, Saragna here and welcome to another video. On this video I will be highlighting a technique some of the boys from Resistance used in the September in-game CWL. Sadly this month we came in second with 308 stars, we started the week with a nice win 38-26, the second round was even better with a win of 41-38 over back Saigon. However, on the third round we ended up getting a couple of unlucky 1 stars and we lost 36-38. Um, this loss killed the motivation of the team as we were trying to qualify for the Worlds once again and uh, you can't really qualify if you suffer a loss during the week. However, we still managed to win against Creative Injury 37-35 but then in round 5 we had a disconnect, 0 star and although we got very close to winning we lost 34-35. We finished the week winning the last two wars with 36 stars each. Um, this month's MVP were TK with a perfect CWL and Trento which uh, was only 2% away from the perfect. So good job to both of them. So in this video I will be highlighting the attacks that use the Sap Quake with the Royal Champ. I will be bringing the other attacks in separate videos as well so stay tuned for that. Okay so let's jump to the first attack. Okay so the first attack is with Alex Baby. He's coming in with the one Sap and Quake. So he saps the Inferno and the Expo with the Earthquake and then he sends the RC and with the RC ability he can get rid of that single Inferno very quickly and the Expo gets severely damaged and it only requires one hit from the uh, Royal Champ then he places his Baby Dragon behind her just to create that bit of a funnel now he starts his Queen Walk uh, from 6 walking up uses a Super Wall Breaker I think he wants his Queen to go inside and get that single Inferno he's got a second Super Wall Breaker who sends now freezes the inferno the expo and the wish tower very nicely so that way the queen can keep going inside get rid of the expo uh, the rest of the attack is a lalo so let's see what he does the cc comes out he's got a poison a couple of headhunters there the queen gets rid of it nice and quickly this has two rages two haste and one freeze the king just uh, got um, rid of all the trash on the outside and now he sends the slammer in for the whiz and sends the first lava with a few loons. The inferno gets stuck on the lava very quickly so he sends his second lava with more loons just to make sure that the uh, loons start heading inside. The queen is in the town hall and gets rid of the town hall and then gets rid of the eagle. So now it drops in really matter for the loons to path in since the queen has gotten rid of that. The scatter was being tanked by the queen as well so the, that was a very OP queen. Now the slammer still hasn't popped. The ground expo goes down, now the slammer pops over the wish tower, the wish tower goes down, now there's only that warden statue and the archer tower and the last AD but the queen is still alive with her healers and um, full health so um, this is just clean up now it's got a few minions and pups to get rid of some of the storages and the queen and the warden get rid of the rest very nice attack by alex baby so that's what i'm going to be highlighting in this video the the zap quake rc ability so again trento here with the zap and quake so let's see what he zaps and quakes so uses the warden walk at three Saps and quakes the Inferno, the Wish Tower, so now he sends the RC, uses the RC ability, that gets rid of a single Inferno, the Wish Tower, everything in that corner, now he can just use a Wish from behind just to get rid of the trash buildings, now that there's no defenses there left. So as you can see, like if you use one Sap and one Quake and then the RC ability, you can pretty much get rid of uh, single Infernos, Wish Towers, um, ADs, everything except for um, scatter shots, expos, and uh, eagle. For the scatter shot and the expo, if you use two zaps and one quake and the RC ability, then it gets rid of that. Uh, for the eagle, you still require a bit more, but you can definitely damage it. So now, Trento created a really nice funnel, uses the jump in the middle, sends the blimp just to make sure he gets the town hall. As you can see, the town hall is touching all the walls, so there's no chance for small bombs or anything there. The blimp goes down, the sneaky goblins get rid of the town hall. 
the Yetis keep pushing and now he sends the bats from the north he sends his Oz Golem to tank that with tower to the left there's only splash damage uh, the other splash damage is uh, at the Tesla farm with the Whist Tower. He's gonna have to freeze. No, nope, he didn't have a freeze, so the Whist Tower just got rid of all his bats. However, most of the base has already been demolished. The Yetis are walking towards 5, getting rid of some of those defenses on that side. And the queen walks to nine o'clock just to get rid of the buildings up there. So Yeti is getting rid of one side with the warden, and the queen getting rid of the other side by herself. Heal is all of them alive, and uh, this base is crushed. Very nicely done by Trento. Okay, so the next attack is from Ban Mi, and he's coming with the dragon, the drag bat, but also the sub quake. So let's see what he does. So it puts the Whiz at 3 o'clock, uses the Zap and Quake for the single Inferno and the Whiz Tower. The Whiz Tower doesn't go down because the other three buildings were on the on the path of the Royal Champ, but the uh, Whiz Tower goes down to the Royal Champ anyways at the end. Uh, basically what he wanted to get that is that single Inferno. Royal Champ now dies, now he uses his King and uh, Queen to get rid of that scattershot area and the enemy Queen. He's also going to be able to get rid of the Eagle, and uh, if the Queen is OP, she might be able to get rid of uh, an Expo. And he does get rid of one of the Expos, and uh, the second Expo as well. Now he uses his Baby Dragon up there, the Tesla Farm pops up, so he uses another Dragon just to create that bit of a funnel. And now he sends, uh, full sends all the drag uh, Dragons from uh, around 1 o'clock, 1 to 2 o'clock. Just for the temple, sends the blimp as well behind, uses the first rage. A couple of black mines pop up, the tornado trap also pops up. Now he can use the warden ability beautifully um, over the tank hole blast and also the multi inferno. And now he places his bats on top of the scatter shot, which is what you want to do within that uh, radius of the scatter shot. That way, the scatter shot can't kill your bats. Now uses one of the freezes for the air defense and the Whist Tower as the dragons were approaching. Uses the other freeze for this Whist Tower. The bats get rid of it and this base is crushed. It was beautiful drag bat attack by Ban Mi. And he still has a swag freeze. And look how many dragons he still has alive. Beautiful attack. Okay, so the next attack is uh, the Maxi and he's got the e drags so he uses the Zap and the Quake for the Inferno and the uh, Eagle and he puts his King, a uh, Loon and a Baby Dragon just to get rid of that mortar that's gonna help with the RC path and uh, gets rid of that Inferno and the RC is gonna keep going well it's gonna be going to the side uses the Queen up north, pulls the CC Queen dies very quickly. He still has a poison. So let's see what he does here. He still has the king ability, uses the poison for the headhunters. And okay, he's gonna use his king ability. Now he sends all his e drags with the loons, the warden, and the slammer all the way in. Now that the queen and the king with the RC have created a nice funnel. They can all go inside, uses a couple of rages there in the middle with the warden ability. Town Hall goes down, uses the final rage at the back end. One of the Expos is grand and the other one is on air. Um, the Hound is there, so he's going to be stalling a couple of the, well, one of the e drags. The other e drag was being stalled by the King. Now he starts moving the Hound, but um, yeah, they're getting stalled there, but the rest of the base is finished. Very nice attack by the Maxi. And now it's just clean up of all the storages on the other side. Nice and quick attack with the e drags. Now the next attack again, Ban Me coming in again with the drag pad with the zap and quake. So he starts with the 
king at six and queen as well with the ice golem so that's going to be getting rid of the warden and the rc he uses the zap quake for the inferno at nine o'clock and the uh, royal champ is going to be able to get rid of that entire area with a whiz and the baby drag just to clear all the trash buildings there and create a beautiful funnel queen is going to be able to walk in and get rid of that single inferno as well and if he's lucky she's going to be able to target the eagle which he does now and now he sends all of the dragons in and they've got a stray path into the town hall both sweepers are pointing to the north well, one of them is pushing some of the dragons back but it's not enough and the blimp is going all the way into the town hall the sweeper manages to push it a little bit further Tanko goes down, he still has a lot of uh, dragons, uses the bats on the left side with a freeze on the Wiz Tower. He didn't have many bat spells so they died pretty quickly, however they managed to tank enough um, for the dragons to move forward north. Now there's only one Expo and one Tesla left. The Expo goes down soon, I think. maybe not that expo is immortal but he still has three dragons with the warden so i think they're going to be finishing on the expo there he goes and now the elixir pump and this base was done very nice attack by Bami with the sub quake drag bat okay so now we've got gk he's coming in with the uh, hybrid with the sap and quake so let's have a look what he saps So there we go, he saps and quakes the south and inferno, and now he's bringing his RC as she's facing to 7 o'clock, he didn't pop the ability, now that she was facing towards the single inferno, pops the ability and the inferno goes down, now gets rid of the tesla farm as well and uses the whiz and a goblin just to get rid of the trash buildings over there and also create the funnel for the queen, which is gonna start a queen walk into, or a queen charge into the eagle. Uses the rage nicely as the queen was about to die. And uh, war breaks the eagle compartment. Now the queen is at the eagle. Uh, king was uh, tanking the eagle shots and getting rid of some of the garbage on the outside. The um, headhunters came out of the CC, so he managed to put the CC, the poison there to kill the CC. Now getting stuck on the lava. Sends the minion for the couple of level pups that are targeting his healers. This is the last wall breaker and that targets that um, hut. So I'm not sure if that's what he wanted. The queen keeps walking up. The single inferno is now on the queen. Like he's already put the siege barracks down. He's gonna be sending the hybrid straight into the town hall. This is the one ability. Now they're got heading towards the scatter shots. First scattershot goes down, uses the heal as they're heading towards the second scattershot and the multi inferno, freezes the scattershot and the expo nicely. Queen is still alive, now they're getting rid of the final scattershot, now it's just that multi inferno and the royal champ that is a pest. The royal champ goes down, the multi inferno goes down and this base was crushed, very nicely done. Now the final attack is from Burner again. I know this base is not fully maxed, but it is also using that same technique. So he starts it with his uh, queen uh, charge at nine o'clock to go towards that first single inferno. Puts the baby drag there for funneling as well, so that uh, she goes inside. Uses the freeze on the expos and the single inferno. Single inferno goes down. Tornado trap gets triggered. This is the second super wall breaker to, for the queen to walk inside and get rid of the expos and the uh, eagle uses the sap and quake for that other single inferno. This is another super wall breaker to go towards the warden statue and keep walking in. Now uses the royal champ gets rid of that single inferno nice and quick and also pulls the defending CC which is a couple of dragons and a loon. The queen now facing the royal champ and the CC and he starts his lava loon and uses the king up north just to trim some of the buildings 
up there and sense the blimp for the town hall. Uses the freeze for the town hall and the sweeper. The blimp goes down, the sneaky goblins can get rid of that town hall. It goes down, he still hasn't used the warden ability. Uh, <clears throat> he still has a haste and a freeze. Uses the warden ability for that one loon over there, but um, and then uses the freeze for the AD and the Archer Tower. That loon finally goes down, but he still has his queen with ability, and he also has three headhunters that he can use against his king. King goes down nice and quickly, and now she just keeps walking north, gets rid of the Tesla, the cannon and the storages that's nice attack by burner well that's it for me hope you enjoyed the video and make sure you stay tuned for the rest of the attacks from this week there were some nice track bad attacks zap Lalo's, and hybrid attacks which i will be uploading soon in different videos until then i'll see you soon with more clash see ya